Listen, you have to take your problems to the Lord. Now, what am I talking about? There are things in our lives, y'all, we have issues and we have ways that we behave and we do things sometimes that we know are not pleasing to the Lord, right? So what do you do in a situation like that? Because the Lord is going to show you your flaw. Or he's going to show you your area that you're weak in or the thing that you continue to fall into, right? So once he identifies that to you, you probably already know it, but once he shows you that thing, what you have to do is you have to now ask him for help. You have to ask him, God, I have an anger problem. I need you to help me, Lord, right? Lord, I'm, I'm very impatient. I need you to help me. Whatever that issue is, you have to take that one to the Lord right there, right? Because sometimes we don't even recognize that we have a problem. Many people have problems and they just be like, I don't have that problem. I don't have that issue. But you do have the issue, right? But when you recognize that you have the issue and you know that you need help, it first shows when you go to the Lord asking him for help, it first shows you that you, you know that your help comes from the Lord, right? The Bible says your help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth, right? And then it also says, casting all your cares on me, for I care for you. Meaning that the things that bothers you, it bothers God. But you have to bring it to him, right? You got to tell him what the problem is. You got to tell him and confess to him, Lord, I did this and, you know, I need help in this area. And why would he not help you, right? Another version says, tell him about everything that makes you sad or angry or worried and trust him to look after you properly, right? But you got to ask, ask and you shall receive. Like God know you ain't perfect, right? Tell him, Lord, I need help in this area. I'm weak. I want to live righteous, but I can't seem to do it on my own. So Father, I'm coming to you because my help comes from you. And you recognize that, right? So that's half the battle right there, right? So the Lord will help you. Um, you you ever did something, right? And you 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 may have had a confrontation with somebody. When you had this confrontation with this person, you don't know why, but later on you thought about it like, man, I don't know. I should have, I should have, I should have told him about herself. I should have told him about herself. I should have, I should have punched him in his mouth. I should have, like whatever that thing is, you just, when you think about it, how maybe they disrespected you or how you didn't react. You did not react in a way that you uh, know that you would have reacted, right? So the Holy Spirit has a way of helping us, you guys, because once in that situation, but once you get back out somewhere later on, you're looking like, man, I, oh, man, I don't know how they got away with that one because I don't take no crap. Like, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, so the Holy Ghost will help you to keep your mouth closed. But again, he's showing you the problem. So whatever that problem is, you ask the Lord to help you in with that problem, right? Because again, like I said earlier, God knows beginning from the end. He knows what will happen if you say that thing that you want to say, <laughs> Right? Many times it'll end disastrous. So God got a way of keeping our mouth closed, right? So yeah, you guys, your help comes from the Lord. You have to bring those things to him because it's only him that can set you free. It's only him that can deliver you from that, right? So the Lord is your problem solver, right? Bring your problems, bring your issues to him because what bothers you bothers him. Be blessed.